Suppose you wanted to move a large log. That would take energy. Where could you get the energy to do it? One place, of course, is from your own muscles. You could supply the energy to push the log. Or someone else could supply the energy. Then the energy would come from someone else's muscles. Or you could use a machine, like this bulldozer. Then you'd be getting the energy from gasoline. Or you could even use an electric motor. Then the energy to move the log would come from electricity. But let's say you didn't have a friend to help you. And let's say, at least for now, that there weren't any machines around that use gasoline or electricity. Then where could you get the energy to move the log? You could still use your muscles, of course, or the muscles of other animals. But are there still other things around you that might have energy that you could use? Well, here's a small rock. Suppose you wanted to crack it in two. That would take energy. Where could that energy come from? Suppose this happens. The energy to break the rock in two came from the large rock that fell. But wait a minute. There is energy in a rock? How can that be? It doesn't look like there's energy in the rock now. But there was when it fell. What's going on here? The answer is that when the rock was falling, it had a special kind of energy called kinetic energy. All that really means is that it was moving. And because it had kinetic energy, it was able to apply a force to something else by falling on it.